Within 24 hours of Israel resuming its bombing of the people of Gaza, several thousand people came out to protest in San Francisco. That's a good thing. It's also a good thing that, as you can see, many people took the time and initiative to make up their own protest signs. But at the risk of sounding negative, I have to ask, why was the main call for city councils to call for a ceasefire? Let's be real. What will that accomplish? Joe Biden himself is calling for Israel to be more careful in how many people it kills in Gaza. Meanwhile, he's sending bunker bombs over there. Or think about Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who is now running for the U.S. Senate. Look at this debate I had with her a couple years ago. But why do you support giving U.S. military aid to Israel? But how come you support how come how come? But why do you support U.S. military aid to Israel? I'm going to continue to say what I've always said. But you didn't answer my question, sir. I'm telling you where I am, and I yeah. But money talks. I support a two-state solution. I support the U.S. being more engaged in the peace process. I think but money talks. If you say. You can see how she avoided answering the question, why does she support sending arms to Israel? We need to demand, number one, end all aid of all sort for Israel, and number two, for the U.S. to sanction the terrorist state of Israel. But then there's another question, because as even Barbara Lee proves, the Democrats will never do this. So we need an alternative, a working class political party. Some people talk about that, but I actually tried to take a small step in that direction when I ran for Oakland mayor as the working class socialist candidate last year. We need local candidates like that next year for city council, for board of education, for other local positions. I would love to talk with those who are really serious about stopping Israel about that idea. If you took the initiative to come out to a protest like this, then why not take the next step? And one more thing, those protests should be organized by open organizing committees, which enable speakers from all pro-Palestine points of view onto the speaker's stage. That way, we can all hear from different points of view about how to move forward.